Hello students, myself Dr. Jyoti Shegokar. I welcome you in my channel Chemistry in Engineering. Guys, uh, today's topic of discussion is lithium ion batteries. Before this lecture, we have seen uh, in our uh, under our playlist of batteries the number of types of batteries, its classification, then primary, secondary, examples of secondary battery, fuel cells. We have seen all these topics. So this lithium ion battery is our today's topic which comes under the secondary batteries. You might know guys, secondary batteries are those batteries which are rechargeable, which can be used number of times. I mean cycles of charging and recharging are possible there. That is called as a lithium ion battery or secondary battery. Lithium ion battery is one of the example of secondary battery. So this lithium ion battery, it is having a very different type of importance that it, it can be replaced, uh, means uh, it replaces the uh, large size bulky lead acid batteries uh, uh, significantly. So it is having the size from very, very small, the tiny uh, size up to the very large size batteries. So it is portable, it can be used anywhere. Okay, so uh, what is this lithium ion battery? We ha it is having name just lithium and ion. So lithium ion, whether only there is a presence of lithium ion, no, it must require metal, is it, to carry out the reactions. So in this you can see guys, the what is the construction of battery? I already drawn the structure in order to uh, minimize the time of this video. So this is the structure of lithium ion battery. Then these are the uh, during the cycles of charging and uh, discharging, how will be the structure of batteries that is also already drawn and how the reactions are possible, it is also there. So firstly, we will see here there is a structure of batteries and its different components. It is having very few components. Number one, there is a presence of anode. Anode and cathode, both electrodes are there. Anode is made up of graphite particularly and cathode is made, made up of metal oxide only. So it may be any type of metal. So uh, according to, depending on the different, uh, what type of metal is used, there are different type of lithium ions battery. We cannot say that this is a single lithium ion battery. So what type of metal is used? Like for example, here I wrote its name that lithium ferrous oxide battery. Lithium ferrous manganese oxide battery. Lithium cobalt oxide battery. Lithium manganese oxide battery. Then lithium nickel manganese oxide battery. Lithium titanate battery. So these are the number of examples of the um, metals which are used in the batteries. Actually, it depends upon the what type of its utility, how the uh, requirement is there on that basis, what type of battery is required that can be used. But all are having the same type of working or functioning while it is having different type of applications according to the properties of the batteries. Okay, now coming towards the structure. Here there is a two different electrolytes that is first is a anode and Another is a cathode which is a metal oxide. Then electrolyte. Electrolyte is having lithium salt in the organic solvent particularly. Because they are the main thing which is required. And separator in between. Separator is uh, generally made up of polypropylene or polyethylene. So in this way simple, uh, very simple construction of this uh, battery is there. Now coming towards its working here i draw the structure in which the load is, has been attached while in this charger is there okay so firstly we will see that how it is charged when we brought, uh, bought the battery from the market and just we have to start it or use it in the for example in the mobile so it is to be charged first so how uh, the process uh, of charging is there chemically what happens inside the battery here when we attach the charger there is a flow of current has been started through our switch okay so when this flow of current is uh, started or it uh, gets initiated the current will flow from the one direction and due to this flowing of current here metal oxide which was already present as a cathode this metal oxide undergoes reaction here i wrote here c for charging and d for discharging so during the charging process at cathode as soon as the current is um, exerted on this battery and uh, in the circuit and then uh, it is uh, moving towards the cathode this lithium metal oxide it is shown that a lithium metal oxide but it is a metal oxide while the electrolyte is of lithium 
and that electrolyte which is having lithium ions are now towards the now uh, which uh, were present at the in the electrolyte okay so here what happens lithium metal oxide which is there that lithium ions may be there in just around uh, surrounding it here there is a formation of lithium ions and this electrons and metal oxide will remain there as such so here metal oxide will be formed and due to current that electrons and lithium ions are separated now that lithium ions which are separated they will pass towards the anode through the separator through the separator it will pass and through the electrolyte also while the electrons they are passed through this external circuit towards the uh, in the external circuit towards the anode so here electrons are passed they are having the opposite direction of electron and current so when these lithium ions are passed through the separator they will come towards anode and on anode already it is made of graphite so carbon c6 and this lithium ions plus these two ele plus electrons are there here there is a formation of li c6 now li comes into the towards the this particular graphite so here there is a formation of lic6 so in this way when this process is occurring at that time the uh, battery is getting charged so in this way net reaction if we want to see limo2 that is lithium ions from the electrolyte and mo2 but when there is a passage of electron only towards this mo2 the uh, lithium ions as well as electrons are formed means it facilitates to form the lithium ions as well as the electrons okay then this uh, c6 that is nothing but the graphite electrode there is a reaction to form mo2 and li c6 so during this process the process of charging occurs now during discharging what will happen here during discharging process it is uh, con considered to uh, attach the load to it so during the load the elect uh, the current which is there in the battery is now uh, working or starting to work so here um, the cathode which is there which was already here we can say that it is uh, the cell reaction was L M L I M O two C plus C six to form M O two and L I C six. So the same uh, reaction which is there M O two and L I C six which is already there. So here it will uh, come into the reaction during the process of uh, load or discharging process. The M O two which is there is attached uh, it, uh, treated with L I. Now here how this Li from where they comes they are from this Li C6 which was formed during the charging process. During charging process this Li C6 is now here formed. Now this Li C6 releases the lithium ion electrons which was already there in the lithium in the electrolyte and they are passed through this again separator. Now when they are passed through the separator they are uh, uh, approaches towards the cathode which is made up of metal oxide. So here. Uh, metal oxide plus this lithium ion electrons and electrons lithium ions and electrons so here there is a reaction to form lithium metal oxide so lithium metal oxide means this metal oxide with lithium ions is it so it is the uh, last product of the discharging process again lithium metal oxide means this metal oxide which is there and lithium which is remain with this uh, with uh, there as a particular as a uh, we can say that uh, one of the component of the battery okay now this lithium metal oxide which is formed as a first product while on anode what will happen this lithium c6 was there means from where this li and electron comes this li and electron it is from this thing means already first there occurs the reaction of uh, anode on the anode formation of li and that li are accepted by metal oxide through this uh, electrolyte so in this way simultaneous reactions are there and there is a um, charging and discharging process is continued so in this way guys uh, very simple uh, construction and working of this lithium ion battery is there while it is very much uh, highly it is used as it is having a very less maintenance very less uh, it is portable it is very easy to handle and when once it is purchased it is uh, there is uh, no need to maintain more it is having a lot of um, cycles of charging and discharging it is having very um, uh, um, 
all the different properties are there so in this way here today we, st we have studied the lithium ion battery which can be produced or which can be with a different type of metal ions depending on its requirement so uh, guys thank you for watching thank you for watching this video and um, uh, if you like this video like share and subscribe it and also uh, click the uh, bell button if you need such type of videos thank you very much